Sparkle. Sparkle! Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve. I'm Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Yes, it is. Welcome or welcome back. Hello. Happy Wednesday. Hump day. It's hump day. The day before for those observing Christmas Eve. Yes. It's the day before. The day before Christmas. It's it's happy Christmas Eve Eve to everybody. Yes. <laughs> you should see this place. <laughs> oh, it's ripped up, man. Well, you know, it's we're like, like we had the whole Christmas parade here. I know. Like, it's I don't know. I don't know. I had it all real night. Like last weekend, I'm like, everything is gonna be done, and it was, everything was put away. And then something happened. I don't yeah. know. There we have packages and we're wrapping gifts and there's like gifts going out, there's some stuff things. coming in. Ah. Yeah. So it's uh, But you have started your official holiday break. I have. I don't today was my last day until Monday. Yeah. And then I actually have probably two days off the week after that for New Year's. For too. New Year's, yeah. So I am off at four thirty today officially. Yes. I was free of obligation. Good. The phone goes down, the computer shuts. Yes. And it's all about me. Nice. Well, Christmas season. Yes. Here at you, I, us all together. But you know what I mean. Yeah. I don't have I to have split to, my attention. Um, I work a half a day tomorrow. I work till one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Probably two, you know, by the time we get everything done. And then I'm done until Monday. Mm -hmm. And then I have the same as you. I work next week, but then we have a half a day Thursday next week and then I'm off Friday. So yeah. two short weeks in a row. That's pretty cool. They gave us the full day. I was supposed to work half a day tomorrow, but the yeah. CEO was like, eh, Three hours working from home. Yeah. Everybody's mm. off. Yeah. <laughs> so we got lucky with that. But we hope you're all ready for Christmas. I know. Are you? It came quick this year. I mean, it comes quick every they year. They are. They are? Yes. Didn't it come quick? It did come quick. Every year it does. Every year I get older, it comes faster and faster. I was so proud of myself, too, for being, like, early with stuff. Like, the village went up early. Everything went up early. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know what happened. The tree went up in an evening. In one evening. It was four, As you all know. <laughs> this is progress, because it was four days, I think, last year. It was. It was. Well, and it was bigger, but it wasn't, like... Four days bigger. No, you know what I mean. it was the stringing of the popcorn that kind of yeah dragged it out a it's little true. bit. But we have a fun episode tonight. Let me tell you. Yes, we've been attacked attacked by the Christmas gnomes. We have. So we're going to talk all about that. We have a couple DIYs that are really really cool, which I'm excited about. We have we have a couple giveaway winners to announce. We do. We do. But I'm really excited about the gnomes because gnomes have. I don't know, uh, recently have become, like, so much a part of Christmas yeah. that I kind of wondered, like, how did that happen, you know? Like, so, of course, I did a little research, That's you know? But we'll get into all that later, you know? But the one thing synonymous with all Christmas gnomes across all cultures and countries and all that mm -hmm. is that... Christmas is now involved, and they tend to bring presents. Mm -hmm. They do to all the good, yeah, little boys and girls, you know. And we have some too, so we thought we'd keep up on the, you know, we don't want yeah. to get behind on the packages. So mm -hmm. we did get a few packages today, and we thought we would open a couple. If that yeah. sounds alright with you, yeah, we have um several cards, and then we have some packages. As well. Yeah, so we thought we'd break into those. So these are from our our own little holiday gnomes. They yes, delivered they some. <laughs> they delivered some packages. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's open one. That sounds good. So these are current as of twenty minutes ago. Yeah, we just we went from beforehand. our PO box because we only so. have like you know, there's only a couple of days left before Christmas. I wanted to show them before you know. Yeah. I know we had a mail call yesterday, but all right, cards first. Um, or... sure. Okay, we'll open some first. All right. I'm going to open this because there's no return address. Okay. And it's addressed to us and the cats. All right. And then I'll open this one next. And it's sent to... I'll try to keep it moving, too. I'll get this open. Season's greetings. <gasps> Steve, Mark, Bandit, and Oscar, may you find peace, love, and true spirit of the holiday season. Mary Brush, a.k.a. Mary Smith, and my two cats, Ming and Maya. Oh, Thank you. Wow, Mary. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mary, your handwriting is identical to my mother's yes, handwriting. I totally agree with is, him. I said, I think that's from your mom. This is, I'm going to show my mother. This yes. is identical. I had no doubt this was from her because she'll send cards to the cats and she'll send cards to us saying they're from the cats. And I thought, oh, okay. I know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. Okay. Happy. Ho oh, check this out. Look. Ooh, folds out. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? huh? Happy holidays. Oh, that's so nice. Okay. 
Mark and Steve, I miss and love you. XOXO. Hope to see you soon. I love your cards so much. Uh, they really make me smile. My boys, Alex and... Ja I can't read it. Janara? Janara uh, are adults now. Oh, no, no. Okay, now I can see it. My... There we go. My boys, Alex and John, are adults now. 19 and 18. <gasps> it's amazing to see them as adults. I, I agree, Krista. I, I mean, I remember when they were born. I cannot believe this. They are great people. Enjoying a warm, cozy, beautiful Christmas together. Uh, that's so much. I am happy to have you two in my life. Uh, oh, them two in my life. They are the sweetest. We will be su snuggling up. Lots of love to you and Steve and Krista. This Thanks, is my friend Krista, Krista in New York. And uh, very nice to hear from you. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you too. I have another one. Okay. Season's greetings. When it comes to special people, you're way up on top. Dear Stephen Mark, thanks so much for your entertaining videos. I really enjoy watching you guys. Wishing you both the best holiday season and Happy New Year. Mark, a.k.a. Marcus Devine. Oh, thank nice. you very much. Oh, it's so you. cool. It's a bunch of penguins. Yeah. That's Straight awesome. out of Canada. Oh, from Canada? Indeed, indeed. Oh, cool. Marc Antoine Bordelot. I, I don't speak French. I can't pronounce it either. How pretty that is. We got bling. Mm. All right. Good. Thinking of all the good things and good people in our lives and feeling so grateful this season. Still, still binging to watch old videos, <laughs> but love your channel. Mm -hmm. uh, may the warmth of Christmas uh, war warm your lives. Love, Denise. Thank you, Denise. Denise, Denise H. Uh, thank you, Denise. That's so nice. Aww. And I have one more card. These are so nice. Christmas gives us joy to share with everybody. It's a cookie! Everywhere. Merry Christmas, Banda and Oscar, too. Uh, thanks for making 2020 more bearable with your videos. I love and enjoy. 2020 made... Making videos made our 2020 a little more bearable, it too, did. actually. It really did. Uh, we all did, really. I enjoy both of you. Thanks for taking the time to record every day. You guys have been blessed to have each other. All the best to both of you in 2020. Merry Christmas, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Oh, that's so cool. So we have Karen, a Karen, little... thank you. We have um, all these here so I can get the... I know. They will be up. We're going to have y'all. Oh, yeah. I'm working on it. Yeah. Up. My goal is to have it for Christmas Eve. Oh my, that's tomorrow. <laughs> Mark's, Mark spearheaded this, so I will be holding the ladder and he'll be doing oh, work. Ooh, I better um, we better have some packages. This. Do you want to open those too? Yeah, let's open one. Okay. Where did I put the thing? You have the thing. I gave it back. The thing. Where's the? Th I don't. I, there's have might thing. be another. Get one. me another. I don't know. I don't know. The scissors are with the with the, the craft project. That's helpful. There's one. There it is. I well, see. Yeah, but you have one. This is mine. Well, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> we share everything except letter openers. <laughs> That's how it rolls. This this is the... We finally reached that critical who, <laughs> who calls the shots with the letter opener part of the relationship. This is a long box. This is a very long box. It's a long, very long box. And I can't quite get through it. Okay. So this is some packing. What packing, and there is a note. Okay. Thank you so much for your lovely videos. They helped me remain sane in 2020, and my Nintendo Switch. Big hugs and Merry Christmas from Patricia Van, Van D. D. Thank you, Patricia. Oh my gosh, this is part two. We opened one from you yesterday. There was the bed I have for Bandit. What is this? I don't know. Here, let's put this down, it. down there it. so Bandit will climb in that. I'm somewhere between <laughs> eager to opening this and don't want to ruin the package. <laughs> <gasps> it's, it's chocolate. It's all <laughs> It's all Lindor chocolate. No way. Oh my god. I love Lindor chocolates. Oh. Look at how many! I know. I'm not waiting. That's so nice. Thank you. Thank mm. you so, mm. so much. Mm. Oh, my God. How many? There's, like, pounds. There's got to be two pounds of chocolate here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I can't. I just can't. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, my. Okay, oh, let's take a break. Okay. Since you have to eat mm -hmm. chocolate now, mm -hmm. maybe I should hide them. 
<laughs> All right, I'll have one too. Okay. <laughs> okay, why don't we, okay, because we're going to get on the subject of gnomes, right? Yeah. So I have a, a, such a cute, cute, adorable DIY for you that is so easy. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do it now. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to change shirts because I don't want to get this all messy or anything, you know. Okay. So just give me one minute. All right, and then we're gonna make a really cute holiday gnome. Okay, I'm gonna take my buddy with me. Mm -hmm. All right, can you let me up? Uh, sure. Okay. okay, so here we are. Oh my gosh, we have a really cute gnome DIY for ya. I'm all decked out. Dig the shirt. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna show you how you can very easily make your very own holiday gnome. So adorable. And you probably have everything you need to make this right in your own house, okay? Now, this gnome is meant to sit on the edge of a mantle or a shelf or the end of a table. I wish I could show you, but here. So if I hold him like that, see how his, see how everything falls down below like that, his beard? <laughs> okay, let's get started. Super easy. To make this project, all you need, a jar. Any jar will do. This is an old candle jar. You could even use a tin can. You could even use a two liter soda bottle. Now, you also need a mop head. Now, I got this at the Dollar Tree for a buck. Y'all know where you can find mop heads at, right? Any mop head will do. Okay? Now, these ones from the Dollar Tree are super cool because you literally can just pull the strands. Oh, here, let me turn it upside down so I can show you. There we go. And they pull right out, just like so. And you're going to want to pull all of them out. Well, here, we'll just pull one out because I want to show you. One, two, three, that's good. Okay. So now we have our strands from the mop, okay? You'll also need your nifty difty hot glue gun, all right? So all we're gonna do right now is we're going to make two lines of hot glue on our jar about halfway up, okay? Just like so. You don't have to be neat about this because everything gets covered, okay? Now we're gonna take each one of our mop strands, fold it in half, and stick it right onto the glue and hold it there for, you know, five seconds or so just to let it stick. All right, perfect, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an entire row all the way around and then we're gonna do a second row right on top, okay? Now you can do this all the way around or you can just do the side that's gonna be facing you however you wanna do it, okay? Now I have one here. Okay, it'll look like that. You see, I have two rows going there, okay? Just like so. And this is the one we'll use to demonstrate on, okay? Now, at this point, you can literally take the strands, the little mop strands, and stick your finger, and I'll show you here, up here. Open them up just a tad bit, stick your finger in there, and pull it out. All right, because we're going to make him be nice and fluffy. All right, so we're going to do that after we have them glued on. Okay, and here we go. I'm starting to think my craft table here isn't great for demonstrating. I'm, I'm like looking there and seeing, and, and I don't know. Hopefully you can see. All right, here we go there. Next time I'll get my little elf to, uh, to uh, videotape, or my little gnome, I guess you could say. All right, so that's all we're doing is separating like that on our okay so next get yourself a hat from the dollar tree just a regular beanie i didn't steal any of steven's beanies for this it was tempting let me tell you but i didn't all right so i got these at the dollar tree here and i got you know you want the kind that have tassel on the top all right so and it's as simple as this y'all look start like this take your glue gun and put a little dot right in the center where your face is going to be facing the front. Just put a little dot just like that. All right. And then we're going to take our hat and fold it up about one inch. That'll give it a little rim. Fold him over like that. Get him over. 
over so I can show you. I'm going to fold them over like that. And then right in the center, you're going to push where the hot glue was and hold it there for about five seconds. Okay. Voila. Okay. And we're done with that part. Okay. So next, we're going to go all the way around the outer edge with our hot glue. And we're going to glue our hat so that he's secure all the way around. All the way around. Okay. Here we go. And last but not least, I got, check these out. These are so cute. I got some pom-poms there. And these are from the Dollar Tree too. And what I like about these is that they're two different colors, you know, like, so you can uh, use whatever color you want. Now on this one, let's see, red and gray, I think we'll give him a red nose. Okay, so let me pull this out. And now, at this point, you want to kind of take a look, and I don't have this all the way glued down yet, but I'm just demonstrating here. Now, you want to kind of take a look at the front there and find out where you want um, the front to be, because we're going to put a little dollop of hot glue right in the center, right where the hat is on the strands from the mop head, where his beard is, okay? Put a little dollop on there like that and simply stick your needle pom-pom on there. Hold it for five seconds. Okay. And he has a cute little nose. Look. Okay. Now, I know I did that real quick, but the finished product does look like him. Look how adorable. Pretty cool, huh? Now, I prefer mine. I like mine to have the hat like to the side like this, but do you want yours to stick straight up like this? Kind of like my buddy here super simple. Just grab yourself a piece of styrofoam and a little dial rod. Stick that in there like that. And take your jar and hot glue it right to the top of it like that, right before you glue your hat on. And you'll have a nice pointy hat for your gnome. It'll stick up just like that. It'll be so cute. Now, these are really festive and absolutely really, really cute. And they are meant to sit on the edge of, say, your mantle or on the edge of uh, maybe a table or something like that, okay? As you've seen, probably we'll see in the video, he'll be sitting on the back of the couch. I think that looks pretty cute, too. But another idea for this, since he's hollow underneath, I made this one upside down. I put the jar upside down because we have a couple candle holders at work. They're actually wall sconces with electric candles in them, and the candles are about two inches wide, and they're about three inches tall. This little guy, he fits right over it, and he sits on either side of my desk, right behind my desk where the wall sconce is. It's so cute. So I hope you enjoyed that little DIY. I might be back a little later to show you another quick one, all right? Uh, oh, okay, I see Steven. He's starting to open packages. Okay, I got to get over there. I don't want to see these, and I, I think you do too. All right, let me get over. Ah. Uh. All right. I'll settle. Yeah, I saw okay. you opening packages, so I had to come on and over. Well, I mean, how long should I wait? I know you. I know you. I know you were out of eye shot for I five try minutes. To, I try to. Um, <laughs> I try to do it quick, but you know how I can get to talking. Yeah. And I stole the package. <laughs> we'll open this one first. Okay, I have a couple more. I know you do. I know. All right, so let me open this one, and then what we're gonna do the um. Give away. Yeah, give away. Okay. All right. So um, I can't. Don't know because there's nothing on the outside here. Here we go. Mm -hmm. There's nothing on the outside. No. Shipping department. Okay. What is it? Oh, this oh must God. be for you. I think this is for me. It's that it? is awesome. Daria, for anyone who's not familiar with the cartoon character from the mid '90s MTV, that is so of and cool. Oh my gosh! It has to be somebody that uh, has been watching for a while and knows that about you. Yeah. Because we haven't talked about that forever. No. Oh, oh my gosh! All right, let me turn it up. That is so cool. 
Where on earth did you find this? You know what? We don't know. Oh, man. Whoever sent this, please comment below because there's no, they didn't include your name with this. No, there's no contact information. They they, they should have put your name in this. I know it, it looks like it came right from the company, but mm -hmm. they didn't put your name. It's not even on the outside. Okay. No, it's not. And I think this is one of the older ones. I don't know. I love it. Thank you. Please make yourself known. Yes, so please I can make yourself you. known. That is, yeah, that's fabulous. Oh, this is nice. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's give back a little, okay? Okay. All right, so we have ears. a present for you right now. Yesterday, we had our mystery giveaway contest again, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a Facebook one, and I added a little bit to it. Instagram. I felt, yes, very, very Instagram generous. gets left out yes. on our channel I know, often. It's often. probably our most neglected Outside of Twitter. social media. Oh, tw forget Twitter. No, I nothing good happens I'm, on Twitter. I'm not, <laughs> I am just not good with Twitter. Uh, going into the new year, um, it's my goal to, you know, like have the social media sites be a lot more better and interactive. Mm -hmm. You know, Facebook is okay, but I want to put a little more time into it. Mm -hmm. But Twitter and Instagram. But Instagram is is awesome. And so we extended it to Instagram. So, yep, we had two winners tonight. Mm -hmm. So he has the, the, the whatever random, it's called, random, random comment, comment pick. There's picker. one for Facebook and there's actually... It's commentpicker.com. And yeah. they have the ones for YouTube, they have Facebook, and then they have, have an Instagram. Instagram one as well. We're so doing I have the one up for Facebook. Facebook. Okay, first. we're going to do Facebook first. And that was this winner will receive a $20 Starbucks card and a $20 Subway card. All right? All right. You ready to go? Yep. Let me see what we got. Okay. Okay. Unique individuals and 28. Pick a winner. They fly all over the place. It's cool. And winner is Matt Horn. Matt, Matt Horn. Horn, yes! Oh my gosh! Congratulations! You've Matt. been around forever. You today. have been around, <laughs> and I don't, I don't think you've ever won a contest before in all these years. Oh my gosh! Congratulations, so. Matt! You just got a twenty dollars Starbucks card and a twenty dollars Subway card. Congratulations to you! So get in touch with yeah. us. Let us know how we can get it to you. Yep. Yep. Now, on to Instagram. Instagram. The Instagram. Okay, so this one was a $20 Starbucks card, okay? okay. And uh, I just popped this up this morning, so you had, I think it was about eight hours to enter, and uh, I think there were 22 uh, unique comments, if I'm not mistaken, or was it 18? I don't remember, but don't it'll it'll come up once it uh, kind of okay. comes up. There it is. All okay. Right. All right, and so yeah. Pick a winner. All right. Powered by Pockets. Powered by... What an Powered interesting name! Dot that's, by Dot Pockets. That's actually a pretty cool handle. It is pretty cool. Oh my god, I gotta check I gotta check your um, Instagram out. Anyway, Powered by Pockets. Congratulations. Congratulations. You just won $20. 20 Starbucks. Starbucks, yes! Oh my gosh. So yeah, uh, get in touch with us. We'll get in touch with you. And do the exchange, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, should we talk about gnomes, or should we go right on? With, we, let's get the package out of the way. Yeah. Okay? And then we got to talk about those little critters. Which right. one do you want? Either one. That one? Okay. That works. This works. Okay. All right. Where's my scissors? Wait, never mind. I'll just rip it open on brute strength. Here. Oh, okay. Then maybe I'll use scissors and stuff. What is it? It's a nice cozy <gasps> throw. It's a throw. It's a blanket. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, who's it from? I don't know. We got a note. Okay, we did. Okay, good. We're like kids on Christmas morning. Okay, from Serafina Home. Ship to us. Bill from to. Twyla, Twyla, De Denise w. w, Denise, Denise w. w. That's who it is. That's who it is. Oh Thank my gosh! You. It's a Christmas, Christmas holiday, holiday blanket, blanket. throw, rustic red truck, <gasps> old fashioned sugar cookie, candy canes, and mints. No way! I oh can never gosh. have enough throws. Oh! I am perpetually freezing. Denise, you were not going to believe this. Just last night in bed, I told him I need a new blanket. Because I my the one I had it is like old and tattered and everything. I cannot believe that this came. Good timing, huh? Oh, it's so pretty. Look at I, it. I feel how soft it is. <laughs> nice. That's very nice. I, oh my gosh, and look, it's vintage. 
Mm -hmm. I love old things. You're having I, a fire truck Christmas. So you've got the fire truck card. You got the fire truck blanket. It's very cool. It's so soft. It is. It's really nice. Oh, this rivals Bandit's cat donut cat bed in softness. It does. It does. It's very soft. This is so nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is just so mm. generous. Very nice. Now you can have your own. I can. <laughs> Ho ho, everyone. So what do we really know about these gnomes, okay? Do a little reading, a little story time here, okay? So as it turns out, gnomes actually come to us from Scandinavia, so many home trends do. You know, like Ikea, you know, think that furniture. In Northern Europe countries, they often go by the name Nissa and are typically depicted as short men or women donning red caps. They, they, um, the folklore traces back to the late 18th and 19th century when gnomes were believed to be household spirits responsible for the care and property of a farm or family. And while the origins play into different uh, narratives throughout the history, they've become tied with Christmas, hmm, where they serve as present bearers. So all of a sudden gnomes, Christmas, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Unlike the elves of other cultures, which reside at the North Pole, legend has it that gnomes pop out of their forest niches on Christmas and walk through the front doors of homes to hand deliver presents. How they're able to break into people's homes with their giant hats covering their eyes remains a mystery. Uh, the Norwegians, you know, not only do they get slow TV and the ever awesome for Lutzeliv, they get to have their Christmas presents delivered by a Santa gnome. Now, in Scandinavian tradition, the Nissa, like I said, is a household spirit described as a short man or woman with a red cap who looks after the house or the farm. In the 19th century, the Nissa took the role of Christmas gift bearer and was then called Julissa and has remained a large part of the holiday ever since. An important part of the holiday is also to put some porridge with some butter out for the Nissa. Remember we talked about cookies and milk and um, mince pies and Guinness in Ireland for Santa. You know, this is what they do for their folks. Um, they put it out because the Nissa are believed to have a short temper and have been known to wreck the joint otherwise. So gnomes are not unique to um, Nor Norway. There are other places where they manifest as well. Uh, Christmas gnomes in Denmark are pretty similar to Norway, though they're a little more mischievous. Uh, the Danish don't have as much folklore about gnomes all year round, though they see them as important during the Christmas holiday months. Uh, Danish gnomes wear woolen clothing and red bonnets and white clogs. Danish locals leave bowls of rice pudding outside for the gnomes. In Norway, uh, they visit on Christmas Eve, bringing gifts to the children. Some set an extra place at the table for the gnome. That'd be nice. Just in case the creature decides to join them. Uh, the Christmas gnomes in Sweden are Tomti, look a lot like Santa that many of us know today. These gnomes usually wear gray clothing. That's different for, you know, Christmas. And they're always watching over you to see how well you behave. A la Elf on a Shelf, Santa Claus, in that vein. You can only meet them during Christmas time, and they often share rhymes when handing out presents. Now, even Iceland has its own version of the Christmas gnome in the form of 13 Yuletide lads who come to the town bearing gifts and sweets. These creatures appear one a day on 13 days before Christmas and leave one by one too, making the season last a full 26 days. So, gnomes, not new, not exclusive to any one part of the world. They come in different sizes, different colors, different hats, and they do different things. Nothing wrong with that. And that is your holiday vignette for today. Ho, ho, everybody. And I'm back. I have one more DIY for you. Oh, this one is really cute, you guys. We're going to make a gnome out of a paintbrush. Oh, yeah. Check this little baby out. Ah, isn't he cute? Oh, my gosh. So simple. Let me tell you. So... Grab yourself a paintbrush. Again, I got these at the dollar store for a buck. Uh, any size will do. Um, I, let's see, this one was a little one. I think this is a two-incher. This one's a three-incher. Super cool. So all I did, y'all, so, so easy. Check this out. Okay, so all I did was I took some regular white acrylic paint, and I just painted the bristles white like this. So he has a white 
beard because the bristles are gonna be his beard. Now next, all you need is a sock of some kind, okay? Now I got these little fluffy socks at the Dollar Tree. These are perfect, let me tell you. Okay, so now we're gonna look here and we're gonna see how big, like how tall our handle is because we're gonna bring the sock down around all the way to where it touches the bristles, right? So I just held it like that and I'm like, okay, so let's see about right there. All right, so I know that I'm gonna take about three inches off. So I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm gonna take about three inches off from the bottom so that the top is, you know, it, it's not open, okay? So let's cut this right like so. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, take our glue gun, and we're going to put a little doll, much like we did on the other one, on the jar. We're just going to put one right in the center, just like that, okay? This will just get us started. And then we're going to put our sock over, I'm trying to do this facing away from me. This is a little more difficult than you would think. All right. So anyway, so we're gonna bring them down over like so. Get them down to the glue. There we go. And then we're gonna hold it for five seconds just to let it stick. Okay, all right. And then he has a cute little hat on there. Now, depending on the size of your uh, paintbrush, you may have some extra fabric on the back because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish off the gluing process by gluing this all the way around the back with our hot glue. If you happen to have extra fabric from the sock, it's as simple as cutting a little slit up the back and just overlapping them. Very, very easy to do, much like that like that okay so from the front now we have our hat and everything so look get our trusty little pom-poms here let's see we got a blue one here i'm gonna give him a blue nose okay and again kind of like we did on the other one we're gonna put a dollop of glue right at the center of the bristles we're going to attach our pom-pom and let me hear it hold it for five seconds <laughs> there we go okay and now he has and now he has his little nose just like that then y'all i just finished it off uh at the top i just hot glued a little ribbon on top so he'll hang right on the wall you can even make little ones and hang them right on the tree for a christmas ornament now for him the one you're seeing here i took I took one of the little mop head strands and I glued him around the rim of the sock to make it look like a little hat rim too. So that's an idea too, if you want to do that. So, oh my gosh, paint brush gnomes. Does it get any better than that? I don't think so. I just don't. I don't know, maybe it does. All right, I think I've talked your ear off enough. Okay, so let's go back and see what Steve is doing over there. Oh, oh okay, let's go. I, I, I got no idea. I got nothing. <laughs> Gnomes. <laughs> Gnomes. Aren't they adorable? They're cute. <laughs> they are cute. They are. I do. I like them too. All right. Oh, that was... I had fun. Mm -hmm. I totally had fun. Well, we have one more package. Do you want to open that up before we say goodbye? Or do you yeah. want to wait till tomorrow? Uh, let's open it now. All right. Let's open it up. All right. It's so okay. hard not to. I, like, I know. When they're sitting here and I'm like, I want to open them up I so bad. Oh, who's um, this from? This is from Shirley R. <gasps> Shirley R. You didn't. You didn't. You did. You did. You did. Oh. Oh my heavens! Goodness gracious. Oh my heavens! That's oh my all I have to hear. I'll start the start car. With the car. You can start. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, the generosity is such that it needs organizing. <laughs> like so, so, I'm gonna. This gets overwhelmed. Okay. Like, I get so like. What did they say? Verklumped. Ah, the gnome the fell. Gnome on fell. Me. 
You know what's nice about these two? See, I thought they had a sinister side. They See, you turn your head do. for one second and they you jump right sit, on like, you. right on your shoulder. Like a parrot. You could sit right on your head. I guess. Look, Ooh, there's have, Steven with hair! I have fringe. Front fringe. <laughs> okay. That's you. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, That's card, sorry. Gracious. Oh, I so. dropped it on the floor. Okay, there we go. All right. Home for the holidays. All right, so what do I got here? May the peace and joy of the holiday season be with you throughout the coming year. Dear Stephen Mark, thank you for making us laugh and forget our troubles for a while. I hope the both of you have the best Christmas ever. Love, Shirley. Thank you, Shirley. All right. That's so nice. We... Two Mark. Two oh Mark. God, individual gifts. We did. There's two Mark. And then there's some other stuff in here, but let's get these. All right. These are wrapped. So let's see what's in here first. And the gnomes were so good to us today. I got... Oh, I, monogram mug. Look. It's got my ass on it. Ah, nice. Nice, huh? That's so cool. Very nice. What is this? Okay. Can never have too many mugs. No, you can't. Not. Oh, oh check this out. Check this bling out. What do you get? A crucible stainless steel chain. That's you. That's. Oh yeah, it is. For a guy who buys his jewelry at the hardware store. It's oh yeah, it is. is. I love this. Oh my gosh. I have another own oh, little bag. Oh, and it came in a, it came in its own little bag. Oh, I got one too. No way. Way. Oh my gosh. This Wonder is, Twin Power. We're gonna. This is good because I have something on a chain I usually wear around my neck totally and I could use a new look chain look for it that. too. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, it has this a nice, nice, it has the lobster. And it's heavy. Class. Uh, I like, I like, I like. Oh, surely you shouldn't have. This is very nice. You shouldn't have, but I'm so glad you did. Thank you. Check, check that out. We also have some other things in here. Oh, yes. Oh, sir. Okay. Looks like we I'm have... trying to hurry. ...some cookie cutters. <gasps> cookie cutters! And... I know what this is. I can guess. You can guess. Yes! You got an M. I got an M -a mug. <laughs> Light up Thank snowflake you so much. necklace. Nice! We can wear that all the way into... Yeah. January. Since it's snowflakes and not limited to Christmas. That's so awesome. We can wear it longer and longer. Thank you. Oh, I love it. Look! Look! We have more home decor. So nice. Very oh bright. I'm so... Oh, these are cool. And oh well. These are good for the door I doorways. I Shirley, you're always so, like, thoughtful. thoughtful. And, was, like, yeah. you know... Oh, uh, you just... See, and I can't even talk. There's I, still more. Are you kidding me? Yes. Here is... Oh, that's your bag. Vanilla cookie scented candle. Oh, <gasps> a candle! Get out! Oh, it's a, it's a, um... It's a, it's a... It's a burner. Yeah. You, you put it underneath that, that. see? It's mm -hmm. one of those. It's got the... In the bottom. And there's another one. The and there's another one. Oh, we have one for the living room and for the bedroom. Oh, oh my gosh. This Have was... a holly jolly Christmas. And then the, that's the light. So that's, that's the light. We each got one. We, yeah. This is good. Now, no, we don't have to fight over oh. who has the nicer stuff. This is true. <laughs> it's like buying for children. Like... <laughs> Get them one of each so they don't fight. Ah. Thank you so Charlie, much. Charlie, thank you. This was so thoughtful. I... Wow. It's good stuff. I appreciate it. Thank wow. you. Thank you. Oh, that was so... Look, cookie oh. cutter. It's over here. Okay. Oh, oh. Almost threw that in the box. <laughs> Our paintbrush. <note. laughs> oh, wow. I don't know. I had a very nice time tonight. I did too. I did too. I did Thank too. you everybody for your generosity. I mm -hmm. hope you enjoyed the gnomes. I'm totally digging gnomes. I always have. Yeah. I, you know, with the, of course, you know, with the garden gnomes. 
you know, you probably guys have you probably have seen this over the summer, you know. Garden gnomes are uh, another thing, you know, that's becoming extremely popular lately. Mm -hmm. I mean, in fact, uh, uh, Google Trends had said that uh, the search for Christmas gnomes in particular has increased 525 mm percent -hmm. in the last three years. Wow. I mean, that's pretty incredible, you mm -hmm. know. And then uh, what was it? bright, bright, bright? Uh, what's that other? Huff Post or something um, said that uh, uh, Christmas gnomes were the number one searched item this year in all the hmm. home decor trends for Christmas. Wow. Pretty interesting. Pretty yeah. interesting stuff. But anyway, we weren't too heavy on the gnomes, but, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. They found their way. They did. Gnomes do that. They just yes, <laughs> come they in. do. And now I have tons of gnomes that I made that I'm going to be giving to everybody. <laughs> yeah, everyone we know is <laughs> Nice. So. Yes. Well, I would call that a high note. You want to I would too. That? Great. Yeah. Well, thank you all for watching. Thank you Please so, so do much. Please subscribe. Thank yes. you again for everyone. The mail, the, the, the. Just too the, kind. Too kind. Thank you feels cheap, but thank you. Yes. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. Hit the like button and the bell on your way out yes. so you get all the alerts. You can follow Mark and I on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark or on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark or on Twitter. Our handle's at Smokey Steve A. Our email address and our contact information is all listed down below. Thank you again. And Mark and I will be going live tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. Tomorrow night's Christmas Eve. Yes. Um, it's a no topic kind of live, though the same topics always come up, so it'll probably be kind of like that too. Um, but there's no official, um, like, topic. no official theme. It's no, just, we just want to drop in. Yeah, drop in, say hello. It's like we, an open house. We just didn't want anyone to be alone on Christmas Eve. If, <laughs> if you know, you know. And, and we didn't either. We didn't, we didn't either, no. So. <laughs> no, it's been quite comforting and quite, quite nice, um, spending time with y'all this, this season. It really, really has. Mm -hmm. So. That's all I know. Yep, that's all I know, too. Pick up my gnomes. There's gnomes everywhere. All right, thanks again, everybody. Um, I don't know. You kind of covered everything. I think I did. You did. Yeah. Have a fantastic evening, everybody. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. We'll see you then. Stay safe. Stay well. But above all else, stay positive. Yay. All right. See you later, everybody. Bye.